In this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest route combinations that you can use to torch the meta Mabel defense. This is when your opponent is putting their flats on 30, their curl flats on 10, their hooks on 5, maybe even 5 and 25. But the bottom line is this is going to do a great job at beating uh, the meta defenses that you're going to be facing online. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. This is an excerpt out of my Trips Tied In Offensive Guide. If you want to get my full Trips Tied In Offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to my Patreon membership down in the description. By joining the Patreon, you'll get instant access to every ebook that I have already released in Madden 22 and every ebook that I will release while your subscription is active. You can sign up for the Patreon for just $10 a month. And currently, I have 13 offensive and defensive ebooks available to you as soon as you sign up. So the play is PA counter go. You can pretty much do this out of any play, but PA counter go has incredible blocking. Uh, all we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on a post. We're going to put the circle receiver on a slant, and we're going to put the triangle receiver on a flat. So you see here, uh, that's how the play looks. I'm going to go to the meta uh, Mike Blitz 3 meta Mabel coverage with 30 yard flats. And as you'll see here, the snap of the ball. This post will get underneath the flat, and you can throw that for an easy gain. Now, I'm going to back the ball up and show this to you um, out of a couple of other uh, situational play calls uh, that you're going to see. But what I like about this concept is this concept, not only does it give you really good blocking, but in order for your opponent to be able to stop the regular setup of the PA counter go, they have to basically drop their flats back to 30. And the cool part about that tight end post is that tight end post is going to come open at, um, you know, obviously right in front of that. So at about 20, about 15 to 20 yards uh, across the middle of the field. The other thing that's really cool is that tight end post comes open, um, you know, early in the play too. You don't have to wait till the end of the play uh, to be able to hit that. But let me show you something else about this setup here. So now I'm going to show this against the uh, cover two. The cover two you would think would defend it a little bit better because those cloud flats uh, are going to be outside leverage. But let me show you here's my route combination. Uh, and what you'll see is all we're going to do, pass lead that to the right. And as you can see, it just sits it down right against the Mabel concept. Now, one important tip, you want to make sure that your trips uh, tight end, you want to make sure your trips are to the short side of the field. That helps this play significantly because it allows the tight end uh, to be able to get open a lot easier. Now, um, I also have another ebook in the membership out of the Trio Y Flex. Out of the Trio Y Flex set, there's some unique things that you can do that are only available in that formation that allows you to kind of run this similar concept regardless of the side of the field you're on. Now, I want to show you something else about this play. I'm going to go back to the to the um, uh, the Mike Blitz 3 meta Mabel coverage. And uh, what you're going to see here is, you know, when they when when they go, let's say that the Yoda user, the tight end. So they're going to sit on the tight end, and that's who they're going to go guard. The cool part about this play is you have this, this backside slant. And because we're running the slant to the wide side of the field, um, if you wanted to, you could even motion triangle. You don't have to, but you could. Um, but the beauty of this is now you'll see here this slant is going to just with the pass lead up is going to really sit in that area so if their user really goes with the tight end then you're able to simply dump it down uh, to the slant and so that is why uh, i really love this play and what you're going to force them to start doing is they're going to have to drop more yellow zones they're not going to be able to drop so many people back deep and then you can run kind of your standard PA counter go setup because they can't put the 30 yard clouds out there. And if they do, um, you know, your post is open, but now your crosser is open. So this is why, you know, those two plays together are really what make trips tight end special. It's what makes trips tight end one of the hardest offenses to stop in the game. And if you want to learn my entire trips tight end offense, or if you just want to get access to all of my ebooks, I have 13 ebooks over at my Patreon membership. You would get instant access to every single one of them, and you'll get access to any new ones and any updates we use while your subscription's active. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to join the Patreon for just $10 a month, there's a link in the description below. You click that link, it'll take you right over to the membership site, and you'll be able to get all squared away.